Today we're gonna dive into one of the coolest and scariest things I've ever seen with this game. To whoever sent me this, uh, thank you. I present you my newest fixation. Zidweller. Ah, Minecraft. We all know it, we all love it. Of course, it's a seemingly peaceful, relaxing game with building blocks and nothing too terrifying or at all. Oh. Yeah, that. Cave sounds. Nobody knows what they are, how they are, where they are, or at that point, really anything else about them. But one thing's for certain, they exist, and two things, they're terrifying. All thanks to cave sounds, your mining adventure could be a relatively calm, peaceful experience, wandering through a mine shaft, enjoying yourself, and then all of a sudden, the sound rolls, and all of a sudden, you're inside of your worst nightmare, all alone inside of your world, wondering what in the world made that sound. Uh, as the world's second biggest horror fan, only to Markiplier, I, I hate it, but I, but I love it so much at the same time. But spoiler alert, these little cave sounds, realistically, statistically, technically speaking, they mean nothing at all. But, what if they did? What if the cave sound sort of signaled something is lurking nearby in the deepest, darkest shadows of your Minecraft world? Ha! <laughs> Then here we are, disappointing desert or not, every single Minecraft world, the violins, they echo in through my ears from left to right, it's a beautiful feeling, every single Minecraft world adventure, it begins exactly the same. You find the nearest log, you break the nearest log, you drop the log on the ground, and you do it a couple more times. Like a true Minecraft speedrunner or something, I stop dead in my tracks, I drop the planks on the table, I spin them in a circle, and then drop that table on the ground. We're on a roll, baby. No, 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 look, look, welcome to the modern Minecraft era. I am something of a true professional myself. Look at this little trick that I think we're gonna go ahead and roll into the world with. Set us off right. As I stroll around this beach here, though, the first sign of something going wrong inside of this world pops up. A random cross in the ground, that's never a good sign. Anyways, inside of the- Anyways, inside of the table, with the help of this beautiful bamboo, we'll go ahead and speed run ourselves all the way up to a wooden pickaxe. To break this table, pick it back up, and put it inside of my pocket, and then we set off for a cave. Because today, our true adventure begins in the depths. One little time jump later, after walking nothing short of 10,000 blocks, I've finally done it. The very first cave of this entire world. So first things first, you know how it goes. We're gonna slide down to this cave and find the most, uh, what the? Does this cave have any stone at all? We're gonna find the most convenient looking block of stone in mine. I think it's time I give myself a little upgrade. Now here's the thing, ooh, mine shaft, here's the thing. As soon as we enter this cave, a secret timer is going to begin. There are actually two secret timers, but they're secret timers. And when it comes to secret timers, well, um, <laughs> you know how secret timers can be. Uh, you know, secret and timing things and then all. Hmm, ah, oh, man, it is sure, oh. Ah, uh, who was gonna say it's sure dark in this cave would have been a brilliant idea to gear up a little bit, but... <laughs> what does this mean? Georgie Beans seeks. <laughs> and Georgie Beans uh, apparently left us all of our really, really good tools. So, I mean, I, I might as well. I mean, look, it's not every single day you encounter an interdimensional demon. Wait, what? And it's <laughs> not every single day the interdimensional demon seems to have forgotten to drop a couple different supplies on the ground either. Huh? That's crazy. But anyways, now that we're properly geared up a little bit, the timer continues. Uh, this secret timer is a secret timer that is going to be secretly timing things the entire duration of us being under the ground. It seems that under the ground seems to be like as long as you're below Y60 or something. So technically, I guess I could be underground inside of my base and... I'm pretty sure, theoretically, you could have the safest compound in the entire world, but it doesn't matter. If you're under the ground, you're under the ground, and the demon thing, it's seeking. Anyways, for now, I think we ought to go ahead and continue exploring this cave, because this thing is kind of crazy. It's like, it's like it started off over there with such a weird cursed chest with a message, and then we have this, like, whole weird mineshaft thing, and more mineshafts, and crazy caves, drips on drips, and you know how it goes, everything like that. There's something about the mine shaft in itself that is inherently just like terrifying. It's this ancient, like abandoned maze that hasn't been updated in a really long time. And I don't know, it just it gets me on edge, right? Combine it with me doing all of this at nighttime today in these insanely claustrophobic caves. And I don't know if I like it, I gotta be honest. And just like that, a sound, a, a sound, a terribly terrifying sound plays. Um, <laughs> okay, wonderful, very nice, very, very nice, so, anyways, for now, I think that was just a noise, though, we can go ahead and carry on with our adventure, 
Might as well go ahead and backtrack. It looked like that thing was a little bit of a dead end. Wandering around over here, we need to pay attention to everything, all of our surroundings, the corners of the screen, everything like that. Motion can come at any minute and could be right behind me. It could just be like right around a, a strange corner or something. It could literally be anywhere. Okay, so now that I've good and calmed myself back down from that terrifying scream, I don't know what in the world that was, and it kind of looks like this way might be a little bit of a dead end, which means I feel like we should probably... I, I mean, I guess I don't know. I want to get down as deep as possible. No, oh, and get down as deep as possible. I literally called it. Down as deep as possible. It looks like it keeps going. It better not dead end. Oh, it... Oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, no, I don't know if you saw it, but we need to go, we need to go, that is the dweller, that is the dweller, no, 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 leave me alone, okay, I'm shaking, I'm, I'm fine and I'm calm, the dweller spawns in the depths when you least expect it. So this little entity, almost SCP, if you will, that we're dealing with today is known as none other than the cave dweller, and up here in the light, this thing is... Well, look, I'll admit it, up here in the light, this thing is still absolutely gut-wrenchingly horrifying. I'm in creative Minecraft, though that scared me too much. All right. <laughs> well, this little, he, not so much, buddy, is a brand new mob added to Minecraft. As you can see, our smiling friend is quite a tall lad, almost like an Enderman or something, if you will. So maybe we could, like duck into cover and, and be safe <laughs> maybe even more specifically the version of the cave dweller that we're dealing with today is called better cave dweller by 8-bit mika our version of the cave dweller is essentially an upgraded version on the original og classic version of the cave dweller it seemed like this beautifully toothed little guy right here has inspired an amazing trend within the Minecraft community. If you enjoy this dweller stuff and you'd like to see even more showcase, then let me know by leaving a like because oh boy, there are so many other versions of dwellers that all do different things and some, and some get even more advanced than this one right here. And instead of like stalking you, they have this whole biome, different items, and even more. <laughs> all right, anyway, now that we finally met our little friend up close and personal, what do you say we maybe go back down into the caves or something like that and experience you up close and personal one more time <clears throat> all righty then well it okay all, all right it begins again uh, i was gonna say it's all righty all right because oh no oh no it's okay and it's all no 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 not again not again leave me alone georgie no georgie no georgie b no no Okay, it seems like I'm stuck in some kind of infinite trap. I don't know how I'm going to be able to execute this, but the sounds indicate this creature from the depths, the dwelling monster himself spawning. Long story short, when you start hearing the sounds like that, you want to check everything, every single corner, every single thing. This thing could be anywhere. It could be out of the corner of your eye. It could just be standing in the background sometimes ominously. It's absolutely all out terrifying. Um, I, I swear I just saw something around that corner. I swear I saw something around the corner. One solid bit of mining later, and I seem to have located something that will hopefully be a little bit more safe. I figured if we could get out in the nice wide open, we could be maybe like, to see this thing from a mile away, see it coming, no big deal. Looking around down here, I'm, I'm not hearing any sounds, which means I think we're in the clear. I guess the only puzzle that I have, never mind, the only puzzle that I had was how to get down from that ledge, to get down to the depths, to look around for a little bit of sweet, sweet blue rocks. It's calm, it's nice and calm, there's nobody down here, it's all just me and the wonderful blue rocks, there's nothing terrible happening down here. Ah, I love Minecraft. It's so peaceful. Okay. Okay. Okay, the sounds begin again. The beautiful diamonds begin again. <laughs> So I figured right now, I guess my goal is to just wander around inside of the cave with already a couple of uh, encounters under our belt right here. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> All right, so look, from our previous sightings of the Dweller, nah, no big deal. We have noticed that the Dweller is quite a tall little being. So look at that, that little handy trick right there. Oldest trick in the book, no big deal. A Dweller wants to try and chase me on foot. It finds me and it wants to embark on its all out pursuit of me. Well, all I need to do is, wow, this is Geo City. There was one right over there and one here too. That's insane. The most terrifying thing is once like time has grown from like your most previous dweller sighting, it, it seems to like the big cave is nice and all, but uh, it's been a long time since I've seen our little friend, which means he could be lurking 
Uh, literally anywhere. Oh no. Oh, that sounds bad. That sounds I didn't even see you. I didn't even see you. That's not fair. Uh, you're supposed to No, there's two of them. There's two why is there two of them? This is This is new. Hi, Georgie Beans are Georgie Beans, the cave dweller, as you can see here, and as we've discovered scientifically in survival today, a very fast, a very, very speedy being. In a very cool but technical video, the cave dweller was originally dreamt up by an apparently disturbed lad known as Gargan. I'll go ahead and link this video down in the description. This video right here goes into the in-depth process that went into making the original version of the cave dweller. Fast forward a couple months and different takes have been made on the cave dweller, including the take we've been looking at today. Statistically speaking, our cave dweller little friend doesn't actually have that much health. With a power 5 infinity bow, if I can hit this thing three times in a row, the cave dweller is no more. When it comes to a drop for our cave dweller friend, <laughs> well, just like with the breeze, you get nothing at all. Uh, of course, other than experience. Huh? Experience and a lovingly dreamy, wonderful stream. I can't stop hearing it. As it so appears, the cave dweller is a very tall guy, which means maybe, what if maybe I built like a tunnel, a hallway, like two blocks tall, kind of like that. I should theoretically be able to avoid this thing, right? Like I seemingly set it off by apparently looking in its eyes or something and locks on and starts screaming as Prince, but oh ho ho, I run inside of my little tunnel and I'm, I'm safe, right? So in any other circumstance, I would never recommend pulling this one off in survival, but in survival, the cave dweller is right there. I go ahead and run into the hallway right here and what in the world? This thing actually crouches down and keeps running at me. It doesn't. No, my poor friend, it doesn't matter if this thing is tiny and this thing should never fit into it. This mob will actually crouch down to get into the cave, the tunnel, and chase after you. But hey, I mean, no big deal, because with a few minor adjustments to this thing, maybe make it even shorter, we could fit in there with a trap door. It might be a little bit more tricky, but with a trap door, we could probably get to safety, right? <laughs> right? To execute the beautiful trap door, what you're going to need some more distance on our boy over there. However, every single time, as soon as we actually like lock on, it, we see it, and then it comes running. If I go inside of this thing, what are you going to do now, buddy? Oh. Oh, you're gonna swim into the glass. Oh, okay, so what I'm saying is you crawl, huh? Oh, something just happened over there. I don't know what it was, but something happened over there. I don't know if it was a loading thing or what, but something definitely happened over there. Uh, every single time, this does not get any more enjoyable or any less scary or, or terrifying or better or anything like that. I'm cornered over here. It's been a long time since I heard him, since I've seen him. I don't know what to do. Uh, it's really quiet. I feel like I don't know, like maybe the smart strategy is to just build a giant platform up here at the top of this cave. Maybe this is going to be my new home so we don't home. And then like if I'm all the way up here, he can't get me, right? Like he's not going to be able to to teleport so nor climb. So no big deal, right? Oh, and there he is. There he is just standing ominously in the background, standing and screaming at me silently. Oh, oh, <laughs> all right, buddy. I sis this. I just wonderful that feel delightful full and even better every single time i look away he moves every single well i look at you nothing you're just screaming but when i look away <laughs> oh when i look away buddy you move like my sleep paralysis demons this is hey leave me alone i'm kind of in, in, in a bit of a leave me alone man i'm kind of in a bit of a situation if you couldn't tell uh i, I don't know where he went oh god where did he go well you sound wonderfully delightful delighted to see me wonderful wonderful my friend wonderful I think he's right down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure enough. He's right down right below me. Buddy, don't drop on the dripstone. Oh, it's increased fall damage. Georgie Beans, more Georgie Beans. Just uh, slow down. It won't hurt you a bit. <laughs> it almost doesn't matter. Almost. Oh, God. That is the best sound that I've ever heard. On a different note, the chase with the cave dweller. Sometimes this thing will spawn inside of the cave and kind of just linger around. If you don't like actually look in its direction or notice it, it seems like 90% of the oh god it Oh god it demanifested where in the world did it go? <laughs> The cave dweller does different things. Sometimes it'll spawn inside of your cave and kind of just linger and like stare at you in the background. Now, sometimes when you look at it, it will just immediately start sprinting at you. Other times it'll kind of run away, something like that. Like almost get scared in a way. Maybe we, maybe we hurt its poor feelings. It runs away. 
other times, like that instance we just encountered, it'll kind of like freeze up. And then you look away and then it moves closer. You look away and it moves closer and closer and closer. Other times, you're, you're just all out done for. It'll sprint at you and you're over. You might be able to crouch and fit into tunnels illegally small for your being. You might be able to know how to crawl, whatever, whatever. However, there is one final containment option that I have for this little guy today. Here I have the home, the home sweet home. With the dweller, it seems like usually this guy will spawn in your world like not right on top of you. So theoretically, let's say we had a home sweet home inside of the caves. I notice the dweller, it maybe like notices me. I go inside and I close the doors. Oh, I seem to have terrified that one. <laughs> My bad. Take number two, we've got the dweller and I've seen it and everything like that, but I'm inside of my house. I close the doors, it runs over here. <laughs> Not so fast, buddy, but watch this. If I open this, oh yeah, it can climb blocks too. Sometimes it doesn't seem to always work, but yes, yeah, sometimes he can. Sometimes our friend can climb. All in all, in broad daylight in the middle of the darkest cave, Georgie Beans, the cave dweller, is an absolute night for terrifying no good. Not very bueno at all, but at the same time, I love you, and I need to look at more dwellers. For more dwellers, tab like. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. On the end card is going to be the modded playlist. Check it out. I'd like to send a big thank you to my patrons, Fire Dragon 19, Infers MC, The Great Vegeta, Michael HCK, and Skelly Wampus. Until next time, it's been me, Waddles, and I'm, good luck sleeping tonight. I'm truly, sincerely sorry about that.